Greetings and salutations, folks. This is Lord Ryan here, and today, um, this is like two days after they dropped the banner for the most saltiest suit at the moment, and well, <laughs> the suffering has ended. Uh, this is pretty much a showcase of what it can and do. It's a raid unit pretty much standard. It's a play between the Gilgu, I want to say the Gil uh, Regelgu and, uh, it's like a mix between the Regelgu uh, Gilgu, uh, Marine Commander and pretty much it. Cause it has the missile pack as the Regelgu, has the has the beam saber movement, and it also has a double beam saber uh, melee thing, so it can comp you can totally play it like the Zaku 3 or the uh, our Jarja, and it's a raid unit, it's pursuing, it's a heavy melee focus, and the defenses are pretty okay in double digits, I think they were like 20, a bit of 20s, and it has like a 30 base defense in, in melee, I could be wrong, uh, the recording of this, I haven't really looked at the st statistics enough to memorize it, it's, th uh, thrusters are big, like lots, so... To overall this, I would have to agree with my brother. If A1 already knows that the few times, which are only two times, I only played with my brother at this, at least recorded any of this stuff, we both had our issues with the matchmaking and the lack of communication with teammates, the fact that the suffering of a rated system for a type of new suit. This is a little bit different for me because I usually don't go into detail about suits like my brother does. Or even better, I don't even like go into detail in text, period. I just go with what my initial thoughts are. But this has to be discussed. Like It was very bad. I never liked playing space, and even if they try to make it a little bit fun. Yeah, space is a little bit more enjoyable. You can move faster. You're able to do zooming around and shit, but it doesn't really help when your teammates are... Lacking brain cells. Not to be super salty or anything, but it, it's kind of true. I believe I'm not the only one who kind of suffered through that, too. Um, yeah, because my initial ranking before this entire thing showed up, not even the banner, but just when this thing started in the beginning of the month, I was at a C- in space, and I didn't care much for it. In fact, I only went into space, usually with low-cost suits, like either the Adraxi, the Drac, the Draxi, or like, say, the High Maneuver Zaku, because those are my usual go-tos when I first started. And as soon as high, higher-cost mobile suits start showing up, it was kind of like my thing. In fact, I prefer higher-cost suits because of more options. That That's usually my play style. I'm, right, like, really... I like playing raid, especially if I have like the blend between raid and general units. In fact, the vertex actually plays around a little. It's I don't I don't want to say it's kind of like the Ba Wu in terms of stunning, but when, if you can actually hit the guy with the mini gun, the beam beam uh, Gatling gun, you uh, with a couple of times you can actually can stun them, and it has like the beam the beam arm. Um, Launchers, the beam laser on its wrist, similar to the uh, to the uh, Jaeger. So it does have it does have some overall range capabilities. The only problem is the fact that it's suited for raid because it has, I think it has a base 40, 30 melee percent strength. Not to mention the the obvious two melee attacks. But um, is it worth it though? Uh, to be fair, I didn't really go, I didn't really wail for it, considering I had like tokens left over, and the fact that there was a lack of content because work was being stupid. But that's a different story for another time. But yeah, as you can see, the it has a uh, three-hit melee combo. It's meant for space combat, but it can also be fought on ground, which I prefer to fight on ground. It does have the Mark II's. Um, or even better, the Mark II's flight capability, so you can do combos and stuff in mid-air while you're flying and shit. But, um... Yeah, this thing will definitely melt support units if you're not careful. 
But um, the couple times I uh, I only went into the battle with this thing twice, and this thing is actually scary in melee. So I'm I don't want to say scary like uh, oh it's gonna be scary like a cricket dog that could just slowly tr uh, come towards you in menacingly, or like a fucking agu god that can stealth and basically does horrible things to you your support if you're not careful because you don't see it on radar, but. I'm digressing a little way too much. The the, the main focus is the the Gel the Gel uh, the Gel Goop Vertex stuff. Overall, I think it it's a nice suit. It I I kind of forgot it was a three star considering how kind of crazy the weaponry is. And oh, also it has a shield for some reason. It has a shield on its left arm, and I think the shield's kind of useless. Like it doesn't really cover the suit given the fact you have like the Quibbles uh, like back thrusters. I don't want to say equivalent, but it's like big. You're not small. You're not a small target, but it, 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 the shield doesn't cover much, and it doesn't help the fact that the shield is uh, it's a small rarity, so it only covers 4,000 HP, I think. Even with upgrades, it's kind of useless. You have a bear chance just upgrading for like uh, overheating on lasers, since you're probably going to use the mini gu the, ga the beam gatling gun more often, plus the laser wrists. Um. Shit. Uh, the suit is good, but I honestly don't think it was worth the salt, especially if uh, Bandai was going to pull that banner. If we knew that, I would I would not have suffered space. But you know, it is what it is. Grain of salt and whatnot. I don't know. My brother's better speaking like this. I'm not really into unscripted shit. So overall. I want to say it was it's a it's an okay suit. I would definitely play around with this a little bit more often. It, it is actually a suit that I would play a little bit more that break out my Bawu uh Bawu uh Apocalyptic Massacre here. The th the fact that I've been playing Bawu most of the time in in all my high ranking suits. Considering I only have level one and level three, I don't have a cost six hundred one. But this kind of covers the six hundred part. Because I think level one is 600 and then level two is 650, so it is a higher cost suit with overall good stats. Yeah, if if, 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 if my opinion matters, but um, the the overall problem with the, the main problem with the with the vertex is the fact that they we were baited over a event that caused assault and i'm pretty sure like i mentioned earlier that uh we, we i i was not the only one that felt that i heard i felt my brothers my brother my brother was really really bad yeah um so i guess that Pretty much covers my entire my thoughts and initial uh, initial ideas. If you can roll for it, sure, go right ahead. I don't really want to see people like rage over such things because it's one thing if it's, if it's like oh it's a permanent challenge thing if you can get a free free three star, but if it's like a dated lo a lock up behind a date thing, not sure. But yeah. And uh, this is going. And the next clip here, as I, as I'm recording, as of now, will just be like the first match I had with this thing. So initially, we'll see how that works. So yeah, this is Lord Ryan here signing out, signing out, and enjoy the next clip or so. Later. Let's get to work. Mobile suit team, sorting one by one. Captured a beacon! This damage shouldn't affect me! 
You've taken some serious damage.
left in the mission. There's a bu base has just jumped up in priority. Battle's Rewards! <laughs> 